Hello everyone, Vickers Town Videos here. Today I will be reviewing the brand new Thomas Motorized Talking Thomas with Annie and Clarabel. This Thomas is certainly different to the talking engines that were released this time last year and some would argue for better, some would argue for worse. I am going to do a direct comparison between this Talking Thomas and the one that came before it. But for now, let's take a quick look at the back of the box. The back of the box looks like this. We can see that there are three engines in this range compared to last year where there were four. But I'm going to be honest, Percy looks the most interesting because I really would like that version of Harold. So Percy is my favourite in this wave or range or whatever. Gordon was my favourite in last year's one, but Percy looks like the best to me. And there's a bit of a thing there about the product. You can read that if you want to. And it's talking about help Annie and Clarabel pick up pretend passengers. So overall looks very interesting. And the year date on this item is 2022. Now I shall unbox him and we will see what he looks like out of box. Firstly, we'll have a look at Thomas. And this to me is rather interesting because this is actually the first motorized Thomas I've got, which is the new All Engines Go style. So I'm just going to have a few quick things to say about it. Um, I like how we have that third wheel and it's very defined it's made of plastic i know at the end of trackmaster revolution it was kind of turning into a sticker i wasn't very fond of that so i'm very glad that it's gone back to an actual plastic wheel no side rods is a little bit disappointing in my opinion i always did like to see the movement of the side rods on the engines painted buffers if these buffers were painted i think it would look absolutely fantastic it would look much better the face I think it is actually nice. I don't know, is it meant to be kind of twisted and skewed that way? I'd imagine it is, because I'd say that'd be too big of an error to slip through. So I'd imagine that's how it's supposed to be. The whistle is very, very different. I suppose it is accurate to all engines go. I'm just not used to it, to be honest, because as I mentioned before in other videos, I have watched basically no all engines go, only a few episodes. We can see a nice big number one there. I really do like that. Big coal bunker on the back there. One thing that really makes this Thomas different, in my opinion, is the length of the cab roof. That's the one thing that really makes it look a lot different. And I suppose the funnel as well, for the fact it's kind of bent back this way. Maybe it's to make him look like he's going at high speed or something all the time. I don't really know, to be honest. Maybe it's just an all engines go design. Speaker back there, the coupling. The coupling is actually very long. Whoa. There you go. He's talking away to himself. Whoa. Busted bolts indeed, Thomas, but before you start talking again, it's just, it's kind of hard to see the length of the coupling. It's quite hard to show, but it is much longer than couplings on previous engines. It is quite long. And that's about all I have to say about this, Thomas. I am quite impressed with it. I do believe we're getting a lot of variation in the face now. I think that's a very nice thing to have. And all in all, I think the only thing that could be done is paint the buffers. And if the buffers are painted... I think this is a 10 out of 10. And now we'll take a quick look at Annie and Clarabel. And one thing I noticed was that they don't actually have names anymore. They have kind of a design on the side of them instead. And if it's accurate to all engines go, so be it. And we can see here, what are these things? They're like vents on the roof or something. I'm not quite sure what they're for, but there aren't as many of them as there used to be. There used to be several now there are only six per carriage but one thing that's also nice you see their noses there they are actually part of the mold so that is nice and the faces are printed on they aren't stickers and also the windows are actually kind of in relief you can see there bits of bushes and everything sticking to my hands from doing remakes on this table you can see well actually no you can't really see but they are kind of in a bit on the plastic. So a bit of effort has been put into this. I'm sure of that. That's Clarabel we just looked at. Take a look at Annie now. 
even though they are basically the same. One thing I noticed, Annie's coupling is a little bit stiff to turn. If I kind of... It feels like it's getting nearly jammed in the middle. Now it's kind of jammed all together. Okay, there we go now. It, ju it just feels a little bit stiff, that coupling, compared to Clarabelle's one, which kind of swings around very freely. And you would think it should swing around freely for cornering and everything. But overall, very impressive carriages. I think they really do look like they're all engines go depiction. I really do think they do because I did actually see an episode with Annie and Clarabelle in it. So I really do think they're accurate. And I think Mattel did a very good job with these carriages. In a few moments, we will get onto the phrases that are unique to this new Thomas. However, first of all, we're going to see if he talks to the previous talking engines these are the 3d cgi style i believe they do talk to the newer engines but i have not witnessed it yet so here it is let's see if the new thomas will talk to the older engines let's give it a go Okay, nothing yet. Hello, friend. Okay, nothing yet. I'll take out this plastic thing from underneath Thomas so his wheels will spin. Maybe they'll say goodbye to him or something. Bye, friend. Whoa, bit of a chorus there. Let's stop him. Brilliant. They talk to each other. This is fantastic. Let's try it once more. Whoa, uh, fairly loud there. Let's stop him and see. Will he get a reaction? That's brilliant, actually, how he just spoke to Percy. He actually picked an individual engine. That is fantastic. Guys, this is absolutely brilliant. The new toy is talking to the older toys. This is brilliant. This is so, so important with these new engines. And I am very, very happy that the new Thomas is talking to all the older talking engines that I own. And now we'll see what phrases this Thomas has without talking to any of the other engines. Let's see. Okay, he's not saying much there. Time to roll. Whoa. I accidentally hit it twice. Okay, so I haven't really discovered many of his sayings there. However, I'm sure you will discover more when you have him running around a loop of track. Unfortunately, I do not have the space to run, to run him round on a loop of track right now because the table is just an absolute mess. So maybe in a future video, I will make a layout of Trackmaster Revolution track and have the older and newer style engines going about their business and see will they have conversations with each other while in motion. But for now, I think we'll just leave it at that because I don't really know how to discover any more of his phrases. Sorry. And typical. As I was editing this video, I realized I never did the comparison between the new Thomas and the older style Thomas. What's going on there? Completely slipped my mind. Anyway, we'll look at them now. And um, we can see here, big height difference there. Big height difference. So the new style Thomas might have a few problems on the old sets. It might. I don't know. The old Thomas should work on the new sets, though. Well, you would think, wouldn't you? We will hope. 
the tab on the back is a different colour. It looks like he's stocked up on a bit more coal than the older style Thomas. That side, uh, basically the same as the other side. Nice big number one on both of them. I really like that. I think it's good that it's nice and big and bold and defined and all those fancy words. I noticed there isn't any black paint there, though. Like there is in the older Thomas. See it there. Hmm. And big difference up the front with the face. That face is printed on, whereas that's actually a mold. So there are a fair few differences with these Thomases. But, I mean, they're just minor enough, really. Actually, no. No, they're not minor. They are major. But what this is trying to look like, which is all engines go, I think they did a very good job. Put it this way, I think this is more accurate to all engines go than this is to 3D CGI, Thomas. And I don't know whether many people agree with me there. That's just my opinion. I think if you're going off of accuracy to the show that these engines are based on, this Thomas is better. But I'll leave that for the audience to decide. And that's going to do it for this video. I think we'll wrap it up there because I'm pretty sure I've said everything I wanted to say about this new Thomas. And hopefully by watching this video, you can decide whether you would like to purchase this Thomas or whether you think this one just isn't for you. Personally, I would recommend purchasing this Thomas because I really think it's an amazing toy. So... All that's left for me to say is thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.